In this video, we're going to take a look at the binomial expansion. Now, the binomial expansion allows us to expand something of this form in a really easy way, which we can see here. Okay, so this is given in the formula book. You don't have to worry about memorizing this. So it's quite a nice, easy topic, to be honest. So these are the formulas that we'll need. Um, if you haven't come across this notation before here, this is n choose r notation. The formula is given here. However, your calculator will do this usually um, for most modern uh, graphical calculators. So you don't need to worry too much about that. However, like I said, the formula is, again, nice and easy to use. So let's just take a look here at a few exam style questions. So what I've got here now are two types of questions where you need to understand how to use this formula. Now, in most cases, you can just put this into your calculator and you'll get the solution. But in this case, you need to understand how we use this formula. So what we can see here for n choose r is my numerator is n factorial. So that's the top number here, n. And we divide this by r factorial times n minus r factorial. So I've got 40 choose 25 here. That's what this bracket shows us here. Well, this is going to be 40 factorial over 25 factorial times m factorial. So how do we get m here? Well, that's going to be n minus r. We're just using this formula here. Okay, so obviously I can't put this into my calculator here. But, well, I can put this part into my calculator. But if I want m, we need to deduce this by hand. So in this case, m is equal to n minus r. So n minus r here, that's going to be 40. So m is equal to 40 minus 25, and that will give me 15 there. Okay, so m is equal to 15. So hopefully, not too challenging, but it, it just goes to show that you need to understand how to use this formula. And then for the second one here, again, pretty similar. This is a choose 20, and then we've got the formula here. Okay, so it's a factorial over 20 factorial times 10 factorial. So how do we get a factorial here? Well, if you think about it, what I've got here for 40 choose 25, so let's just write this out here. So 40 choose 25, that's 40 factorial over 25 factorial times 15 factorial. Okay, that's what we got here for m. So the numerator here, um, this part is given by the sum of these two here. So 40 is equal to 25 plus 15. Same idea here. In this case, a will be given by 20 plus 10. So 20 plus 10 which in that case will give me 30, okay? The other way we could think about that is obviously using this n minus r here. That would be a minus 20 is equal to 10. And obviously in that case, solving for a here, we'd get a equals 30. Either way, doesn't matter which way you do it, you should get the correct solution there of a equals 30, okay? So hopefully nice and um, straightforward for the first two there, just to get us started. Moving on to this question here, then we're asked to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 3 plus x to the power of 6. So let's just make use of the formula here. So this is going to be a plus b to the power of n. So that's going to be given by a to the power of n plus, so it's going to be now a, uh, sorry, n choose 1. So n choose 1. We times that now by a to the n minus 1. And then we times that by um, b here. Okay, times up by b. Keep going here. Now, we only want the first three terms, so we're going to get the constant term. And it's going to be ax, and it's going to be bx squared. So this next term here will be my third term. So we don't need to go any further than that. So it's going to be n choose 2. n choose 2 times up by a to the n minus 2, and then times up by b squared. Okay. Now, we can use this result here. So that's going to be 3 plus x to the power of 6. So a in this case will be 3, b will be x, so it's going to be a to the power of n. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 6, so 3 to the power of 6. n choose 1 here, so n in this case is my power, so that's 6, so it's going to be 6 choose 1. 6 choose 1. We now times that by a to the n minus 1. So I'm going to use dot notation here um, for my multiplication, um, just because I'm obviously going to multiply through with this x here in a moment. So a to the n minus 1. So that's going to be 3 to the power of 5. Take 1 from this power here. So 3 times 5. Oh, sorry, 3 to the power of 5. And then times that by b here, which in this case, b will just be x. So we times that by x. Okay. So that's why I've used this dot notation here to represent my uh, multiplication. Keep going now. So n choose 2. So that's going to be 6 choose 2. Times that by a to the n minus 2. And what you can hopefully see here is that I keep going along 
then my power um, on my three here, the power just keeps reducing by one. So we times that by three to the four, three to the power of four, and times that by x squared. Okay. Now all I need to do here is just put all of this into my calculator. So three to the power of six, that's 729. So I get seven, two, nine. Six to the power, uh, sorry, six choose one. So that's going to give me six. So here I'm going to put all of this in a bracket just so you can see. So I get six. 3 to the power of 5, so that's going to give me 243, so 243, and then we times it by x. So what I'll say is I'm times it by 243x. 6 choose 2 here, so that's going to give me 15. Again, put this in a bracket, so 15 times 3 to the 4, so that would be 81. And then obviously we've got this x squared here, so 15 times 81 x squared. If we just simplify it one step further here, obviously I get 729. Get 729. Put this into the calculator, and what I get here is 1458x, so 1458x. And then finally, here again, just put this into the calculator. What you'll get here is 1215x squared there. Okay. And what I've got here then is the first three terms in ascending powers of x. Okay. And that's our solution to that question there. Looking at a similar question here, again, all I want to do is find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of this binomial expansion here. So, again, let's just make use of the formula here. So, a plus b to the power of n, that's equal to a to the power of n plus n choose 1 times a to the n minus 1 times b. And then finally, because we only need the first three terms here, so it's going to be n choose 2 times a to the n minus 2 times b squared, okay? So we're, we're expanding here 2 minus 2x to the power of 5. So 2 minus 2x to the power of 5. So we just make, need to make use of this formula here. So a to the power of n, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 5 plus, so n choose 1, where n in our case is 5. So it's going to be 5 choose 1. A here, that's the 2. So reduce the power, so that's going to be 2 to the power of 4. And then we times it by B. Now be slightly careful here. B in this case, we need to include the minus symbol here um, or the negative sign. So it's now going to be times by minus 2x. Okay. Very important that we don't miss this minus here. Keep going then. So we've got n choose 2. So that's going to be 5 choose 2 times by a to the n minus 2. Again, just keep reducing the power as we go here. Times that now by 2 to the power of 3. And then increases power as we go. So we now times that by minus 2x all squared. Okay, like so. Now all I need to do here is put all this into my calculator. 2 to the power of 5 is 32. So 2 to the power of 5 is 32. I'm going to put this part here in a bracket again. So 5 choose 1 would be 5. 2 to the power of 4 is 16. So 5 times 16. Let me times that by minus 2x. Okay, so times by minus 2x. 5 choose 2 here. So in that case, that's going to give me 10. I'm going to get 10 here times by 2 cubed. So that's going to be 8. And then minus 2x all squared. So in that case, that's going to give me 4x squared. So we times that by 4x squared. Okay, like so. Again, all I need to do now is start putting this into my calculator here. 32, we can't do anything with that. 5 times 16 is 80, times up by minus 2x, so that's going to give me minus 160x, minus 160x there. And then finally here, 10 times 8, times up by 4, so I'm going to get 80, times up by 4, I'm going to get 320x squared there. So 320x squared. Again, we've got it in ascending powers here, so there we have it. We can't simplify any further, and that's our solution to that question. Moving on to the very last question here to finish this video. So we want to write down the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 plus qx to the power of 6. Now this is obviously slightly different to the previous examples because we've got q now rather than a numerical value. So again, we just make use of the formula here. So I've got a plus b to the power of n. So in that case, we're going to get a to the power of n plus n choose 1 times that by a to the n minus 1, times it by b. And then finally, again, we just want the first three terms, so it's now going to be n choose 2, times a to the n minus 2, 
times b squared. Now, obviously, we have this algebraic term here, this qx, um, but we don't need to kind of overcomplicate this. Q is just a non-zero constant. So for all we know, this could be 1 plus 3x. It might be 1 minus 2x. We don't know, but we can still use the formula here that we have for the binomial expansion because we know that Q is a non-zero constant. So making use of that here, we've got 1 plus Qx to the power of 6. So we begin here with a to the power of n, so that's going to be 1 to the power of 6, which obviously will be 1, but we'll just put it here for now. I've then got n choose 1, so that's going to be in our case 6 choose 1. We then have a to the power of n minus 1, so reduce this power here as we go, so that's going to be 1 to the power of 5. And then we've got b here. Well, b in our case is qx, so we times that by qx, okay? I'll put this all in a bracket here. Um, in fact, we'll put it in a bracket at the moment. Let's just keep going for now. Uh, plus n choose 2 here. So n in our case is 6. We get 6 choose 2. 6 choose 2. Times it by a to the n minus 2. So reduce the power as we go here. So that times that by 1 power of 4. And then times it by b squared. Well, b in our case is qx. So we times that by qx all squared. Okay. Let's simplify here as we go. So 1 to the power of 6 would be 1. 6 choose 1 is 6, so let's just put this in a bracket here for now. I get 6 times by 1, because 1 to the 5 is 1. And then qx here, which we'll simplify in a moment. I've then got 6 choose 2. So 6 choose 2 here, that would give me uh, 15. So we get plus 15 times 1 to the 4, which again is just 1. And then we times that by qx all squared. Okay. Well, qx all squared here, that's going to be q squared times x squared. Times that by q squared x squared okay let's simplify this here now as we go so i get one six times one is six times it by qx we're going to get six qx so we get plus six qx there and for the final one here 15 times one is 15 times it by um q, q squared x squared so we're going to get 15 15 q squared x squared okay like so and there we have it that's our solution we've got the first three terms in ascending powers of x okay and that's just our solution to the very last question um, for this video and that brings us to the end of this video on the binomial expansion